Hey guys, Tarek with Cyclone FPV. I'm getting ready to do a real quick video here on the HAKRC uh, F722 uh, flight controller, which I will do a picture in picture here real quick and show you guys what we're talking about. So here it is. So this is the uh, flight controller right here. And what I've talked about, and you know what? I need to get my beta flight set up here so you guys can see the screen. Sorry about the uh, desk being messy here. We've got stuff all over the, it has been a very busy weekend and I am trying to now get things organized. So I am going to do a screen sharing here so you can see beta flight on here and we're going to test something. I had a customer write me today and it, believe it or not, it's not the first time I've heard this with different other, other brands, not just HAKRC, but with some other brands as well about doing a flash update and the next thing you know, nothing works, right? Nothing powers up. So I've decided to go ahead and do one live and we're going to kind of go through the steps here as well. I have not done the 722 before on the flash update, so we're going to do it together now and see what happens. All right, got a bunch of stuff in my eyes. All right, so first thing we want to do is let's go ahead and uh, do a split screen here with all three. Let me add the laptop. I'll go one, two, three. There we go. All right, so here we go, right? So there's our setup right there. And uh, we're gonna go ahead, and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and plug in the uh, HAKRC uh, to the um, computer. Uh, yep, let me get that right. There we go. Okay, there we go. All right, so we hear Windows kick in and we know that it's running fine. All right, the next thing we're gonna do, just for the heck of it, is I wanna go to my um, control panel and make sure that we see what exactly what driver is needed to run this board. So let's go to device manager, and then we're gonna scroll down here to com ports, and this is gonna run the uh, STM, uh, STU, sorry, uh, microelectronics uh, virtual com port four, which you can download, right? So, so um, that's pretty easy. So make sure you have the right driver, okay, first of all. All right, that being said, let's go ahead and head over to Betaflight now, and we're gonna close this down, and we're gonna connect. Uh, I'm gonna to try to let this go, but I didn't want it to flip upside down or anything, but it's going to. So let's see if we can get it to stay still one way or the other. And if not, I'll just throw something right here. There we go. Good. Now it's going to stay still. Okay. So let's go ahead. First thing we're going to do is connect and we're going to go to our CLI, right? And we want to type version. Okay. <clears throat> Hit enter. So we're running the HAKRC. Uh, and let's see, this was done in 2019. HAKRC F722. So let's go ahead and go to our firmware now. <clears throat> and we are going to go to wait for this to populate real quick all right so let's go up here HK, there we go now we can pick let me see what else they should have another one let me see F G H A K R C. there it is okay so here's the deal on this one um I, and i found this out actually with dell rc as well but we're going to go ahead and do this first so we're going to go ahead and pick uh, we will we'll bypass the legacy, although I'm going to probably end up doing legacy anyway, and we're going to go to 4.1.4, okay? <clears throat> now, if I'm not mistaken, if I do legacy, I get to actually pick uh, uh, more options. Yeah, see, I can go to 3.5.7, and there we go. So if you do find an error in this, um, you can always go back to legacy on this one, but let me go back and do the uh, standard here, and we'll go to 4.1.4. Let's go ahead and load the firmware, and let's flash it. It should flash pretty quickly, I think. <clears throat> and I just worked on a Dell RC board yesterday where I ended up using the legacy uh, firmware instead of the uh, Dell RC firmware uh, because I had an issue. I wanted to drop down to a 3.5 version um, and uh, I couldn't uh, right under the um, under their version. So <clears throat> I changed that. So you may find that that helps you. I have no idea, depending on the situation you're in. For me, it was because I needed to test the um, smart audio in a different uh, method and uh, a couple other features that seem to have disappeared uh, with the version change. All right. So let me get, sorry again about my desk. Let's see where we're at. Uh, all right. So we're done. So what we're going to do now is we're going to connect. Uh, actually, let me go ahead and disconnect. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead. It says successful. So I'm going to disconnect this. Okay. I'm going to plug it back in. And now I'm going to connect. Okay, I'm going to apply my custom defaults. Okay, we're in reboot mode here. All right. So um, I don't see any issues doing it this way. Now, again, I didn't have power connected to this beyond the USB port. I haven't done anything else with it. Uh, so I'm not sure exactly what the problem was that some people were having. I know that I was told, that for, for example, on the one they did with this one, there was no lights at all. Like nothing lit up at all. Okay. Um, I don't see that obviously being an issue here. And I'm not so sure if there is something else to the story that I, I missed or that I wasn't told yet. Uh, but so far, uh, I think it seems to be fine, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect that. And that's pretty much it. So if you wanted to get your 
uh, HAKRC F722 uh, updated, uh, that's all you would do, and you'd be good to go. All right, I, again, I'm kind of lacking the, um, let me go ahead. I'm kind of lacking the rest of the information here because it did, it, it is a little surprising that you would lose complete power in the board. Um, you, you know, when you plug in your USB port, unless something else happened to the board, but I don't know. I, I don't know all that went on around it, uh, but uh, I wanted to make sure I did the update anyway and tested that out. Um, you know what I guess I could do is one more thing, maybe this, maybe just so I address all the issues. So I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna actually update the firmware again, but this time I'm gonna go legacy just to make sure it doesn't sit in the legacy side. All right, so let's do legacy. And uh, I don't know, we'll go four point, well, I guess we'll use the same firmware. So let's load the firmware. Then we're gonna flash it again. All right, should almost be done here in just a minute. system set up. I'm going to leave that right there. A little reminder to me. I need to set up this air unit. All right. Let's see. Okay. So it's just successful. Uh, and uh, all right. I don't see my COM port coming back up. So I'm going to go ahead and remove power and plug it back in. Yeah. I'm not seeing the problem here at all on this. So um, yeah, I don't see any issues. Okay, so I guess what I'll do is uh, at least this video will count for anybody that was looking uh, on what firmware is needed for it. Uh, but other than that, uh, I don't see any problems right now on this. Uh, let me see if I can set this back properly. Let's just do it like that for now. And we'll go ahead and put this into build. Uh, all right, guys. So um, again, like I said, I don't see any issues with it right now. But if you do have a problem, please uh, yeah, let me know. Uh, hit me up at, uh, let me see how I do this here. Hit me up at uh, targetcyclonefpv.com. Okay, and then also please uh, make sure to uh, was it follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channels? Uh, YouTube channel that would really help me, help me out a lot. Okay, other than that, guys, God bless. Safe flying, spend time with your family. You never know how much time you have left with them, so make the most out of it. And we'll talk to you soon. See you later. Bye.